Yo, what is going on guys, many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope you guys have set your targets and goals and anything you want to achieve and do for this year. And I hope you do smash it. 2022 will be your year. What we have for you today is the last game we actually played in 2021. And uh, I have to say it's interesting because today could be the contender, if not the worst pitch we've played on by far. I don't know how the game did go ahead, but it did. And for that, we have content to bring you. So I have to say a thank you for that. Anyway, before we get into that, let's do the lineup. In goal, we've got John. At right back, we've got Sam Obaseki. Center backs, we have Reggie and Tolu. Left back, Qualms. In the 4-4-2 today, we have Jed on the left. We have myself and Lamar in the middle. Femi over on the right. And Fred and Thomas to begin with up top. On the bench today, we have Drew. Morning, boys. Morning. 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 Um, Boys, look at us. You can see the warm up already. Just look at this. We know what kind of day it is today. We've played this team twice already before. Let's make it three out of three. Let's finish it off. You know, but you can see already the conditions. This is not the conditions to play mad football. So when it's not on, let's just lump it. If you see me lump it into areas, I don't want to hear anything. We chase after it like rats. Um, honestly, like, all I can say to you is we just have to go out and win because this is not something where it's like, oh, this is mad ability and stuff. Mm. This is just going to be hard work and graft and just a battle. This brings them as close as they could possibly get to our level. It's a fair playing field. So let's make sure that we just go out to kill and to win. It doesn't matter how we win. I don't care if it comes off your butt. I don't care if it comes off your eye socket. Like, pff, just get the ball in the back of the net. That's it. Um, for me, literally just to echo what Manny says, the pitch is disgusting, the pitch is actually terrible. As the ref just came over and said, this is the only, this ground has, is the only place that are playing games. Wow. That's how bad every other pitch is. So just understand, if it goes long, it goes long. If man clipping the channels, wingers, you better run. And stay wide, please, 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 please. Stay wide today, start wide. Front two, again, you know they're gonna, put, they're, they're gonna play a three in the middle. So one of you, please don't make me scream at you during that game. Do it early. Do it early. Help also, us out. help us out. You have to help us out. Especially in the pitch like this, you have to help us out. Okay? And ruthlessness. Last week we done well. Honestly, we all know that we could have scored 20 goals last week. Today, we, it's not, more the same, please. More the same ruthlessness. More the same want, the urge to get goals. And let's, let's stay disciplined as well. Okay? Toes? I'll just keep it simple, like, yeah, we're here, we've seen the pitches dead, but it's, it's too late, we've already played in it, we've already popped ball in it, some of us are already muddy, so forget the pitch, don't use that as an excuse to be lazy today. We have to work hard, regardless of the conditions. If we work hard and have the enthusiasm to pop ball, fair play to the non-bibs in that keep ball, if you have the enthusiasm to do it, you can pop ball today, but do it in the right areas. Don't start trying to play out the back when it's boggy, play in their half. <coughs> When we make a mistake, don't be surprised. It's not you, it's the pitch. It's how you react, yeah? We have to react. If we win, if we lose the first, we win the second. If we win the first, we win the second. It's as simple as that, yeah, boys. We just have to have the desire. Come Everyone on, in. boys. Come on, boys. Let's get it. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, let's just say it got to that time where towards Christmas it didn't seem like anyone wanted to play football. So we're a bit short on numbers, just drew on the bench today as it stands. Meridian we've played uh, once or twice before this season now. And uh, yeah, we think we know what they're about. As I said before, this look, look at the state of this pitch. We haven't even played on it. This is the first game being played on the pitch on that day. And look at the state of it. There I'm having a few jokes with uh, Luka Modrac, I called him last time. And uh, he found the funny side in it, so that's good. So yeah, the captains have had their words with the referees and we are ready to go. Meridian are going to kick us off and it's going to be very interesting because you can see the state of the pitch. That's only going to be slip slides and all sorts. Uh, but yeah, we're underway. Let's see how this one pans out. It's a ball into the number nine and there's the first one of the day. It's a uh, comeback here to Tolu. He's uh, chested it nicely, but he couldn't stretch his leg enough because the other one was stuck in the mud. It's the 12 3 on goal for Meridian. First chance of the game and it's straight into John's hands. We've knocked it up the pitch now. It's uh, Fred trying to keep it in place. He's got the number six chasing him down. Flicks it past the number six. He's brought to ground. That's going to be a UTR free kick. Jed on that free kick then. Clips it in towards the box. It's uh, the goalkeeper getting a palm to it there with the right hand. Comes back to me there. I'm trying to make something happen. Comes to Reggie. And he sliced it in behind and towards the hospital. Challenge for the ball here between Lamar and their captain. Uh, comes to me. I win that one there. Seven comes across and blocks whatever I tried to do. It's uh, stuck there again in a little 50-50. It's Lamar uh, looking for Fred. Fred this time seems to have straight offside. Linesman has his flag up and the decision is given. 
is uh, just been thrown into play. Comes down to Luka Modric uh, onto the number eight there, looking for a pass out wide, and that's a very good pass actually. Number three of the cross towards the back post is going there for John, and he's uh, able to grasp it nicely. Captain on the ball there. The ball's gone past Reggie. Slip and slide again. Everyone is literally, once you go one direction on this pitch, you are in trouble. 12 is under pressure from Kwams there. He's uh, still able to make something happen there. Goes to Tolu. Good block there as well. Otherwise, the number nine could have had the first goal of the game. John's going at the back. He's uh, going to go for a long kick forward. Uh, Thomas and Fred and Jed making his way in behind there. Goes to Jed and he doesn't take his time with that really. He's in behind and into the hospital. Coming back to our half, Quams is first to the ball, 12 on his heels, seven there, won't let him go. He wants to take him home, the seven, free kick to UTR. Quams is uh, looking to take this free kick quickly. He's got Thomas there in support. I'm gonna leave this one to Lamar. He's got Femi out wide. I know he thought about that pass, Mr. Fabrice. Fred tries to knock it around the corner, doesn't come off, and uh, we're gonna have to restart. It's uh, now into Fred's feet. Uh, Fred knocks it around the corner for Femi. Femi has Thomas and Jed going towards the box. Fred also making a late run. Comes here to Jed, I think he's missed time to jump there, and it'll go out for a goal kick, unlucky. Another one uh, knocks forward, uh, just almost 10 minutes have been played. That's a free kick there that the referee's given. I'm going to go across to take this. Goalkeeper must be having flashbacks because last time we scored in a similar fashion. This time I get the delivery wrong. It's curled too much. If anyone's bored and feels like it, do a slip tally. There's another one from Femi. It's a ball uh, played forward. Looking for this number nine. Reggie's left it. John's come out. First to it. He's not really cleared it properly though. It's gone to the captain, the number eight. And if that's on his left foot, that could have been 1-0 to Meridian. I don't think I've seen this before, but Tolu with the throw in into Femi, he's not even looking. But Femi's able to get in there, into the box, he's gone to ground, he's looking for a penalty. UTR are claiming for a penalty. What do you guys think? I'm not sold on it, to be honest. And I wasn't sold initially because I know Femi has that in him where he can get away with these sometimes. And look at that. Ah, I don't think that's a penalty, especially looking at the replay there and the linesman and referee get the decision right. No pen. Sorry, Femi. Number nine on the ball. Uh, step over there, trying to shimmy as well. Uh, gets away from Reggie there a little bit too easily. Clips it into the box there. Comes to the five who's missed it. Uh, comes to, to the number eight this time. It's a block from Femi and it's uh, shuffled away by Sam Obaseki. So then, uh, long throw in from Meridian into the box from the captain. It drops there. They're claiming for a handball. Might have hit Tolu's hand. It's hit the number nine. Comes here to the five. Can he get back into the box? Eight looks to recycle it. Straight into John's hands. He's dropped it for a moment, but he's got it in the end. Pitch check, oh my gosh, look at my boots. Look at my boots. Lamar's on the ball for UTR. He's uh, gonna knock it around the corner here. For me, I'm gonna play it into Fred, it's gone through. The referee's pulled it back because I have been caught a little bit late, but if he left the advantage to go, then it would have been a chance for Fred. But yes, that was painful. And this is what it looked like after. Excuse the hairy legs. Jed steps up to take the free kick then. Oh, it's over the wall, over the bar and into the fence. Here's a chance for a better delivery. Jed goes towards the back post. Reggie's jumping. I think that's the number six that's won the first one. Comes out to the three. Comes back to Tolu and it seems like we're just booting it to the hospital today. Meridian looking to break. It's a ball into the box. Reggie gets his head to it first. I think I've got time to take a touch. Who am I falling? It's a great block from Tolu. Comes here to the number nine. Jed does well to nip it off his toes and we clear it. Pitch check. Oh my goodness. What is that? just been thrown into place. Six gets his head to it first. Lamar's there jumping and he's caught the number 12 in the face there. The referee blows up and pulls it up. I haven't seen that. Uh, 12 still on the ground there. Lamar goes to pick him up, but look at this. Lamar leading with his forearm there. And uh, yeah, that is definitely a foul. And luckily not to get yellow. Chelsea fans might say it's a red. If you get it, you get it. It's Fred on the ball. Looks to get to the board's back post. And that's been the story of our first half so far. We haven't been able to get anything right in that final third. Meridian coming back at us, still nil-nil. It's a ball through to the eight. I think he might just be on side because Reggie's played him on. It's there, Tolu with the challenge there. He's done enough and it's gonna go wide of the goal, but only for a corner. That corner, in swinging from the left foot of the number eight. Tolu gets the header, it's enough to get behind again. Attempt number two, in swinging, great delivery. Oh, the big man gets her under it and it's over the bar. Femi's in a tussle inside our half. He's brought to ground by the 12. That's gonna be a UTR free kick. Standing over it is Femi. Can he get a good ball into the box? Again, it's behind and into the fence. They're loving this though. Look at the number six. Nine on the ball uh, for Meridian. Loose pass away from the number eight who he tried to find. It's come to me. I play it into Thomas. Good control from him. Takes it on the left foot. His shot's blocked. It comes out here to Femi. Femi with a little step over. Takes it to the right. Goes for the shot. Deflected. And the goalkeeper saves it. That's a brilliant save from him. Uh, to put that one behind for a corner. You can see his teammates are very, very impressed uh, with that. And yet again, they're loving the camera today. 
Can we get a better delivery into the box? It's Jed looking for the back post. Only as far as Meridian head. No UTR shirts challenging, to be fair. It's uh, Sam Obaseki shot blocked. Comes back here towards Tolu. Brought down by the captain. That's surely a penalty. It's not like Femi's one. That's clear contact. Referees are allowed play to go on. Luka Modric on the break. Femi sends him straight back off the pitch to Croatia. It's uh, Femi on the ball for UTR. Uh, 12 makes his way back onto the pitch, but it's Jed on the ball down this left-hand side. Into the box for Fred. Fred on the left foot. It's blocked by the number three. It's all happening here. It still comes back here to Jed. Uh, Looking for another option into the box. It's headed away there by the number 14, I think it is. It's cleared. Oh, no, no. It's just got it. What, is, what has just happened? I, I, I can even keep up with it. I didn't know what was happening. They've cleared it off one of their players. But it's hit. Um, it's gone straight to Fred in the end. And Fred puts it straight through the goalkeeper's legs. Let's take another look because I missed it on the commentary. He's booted it straight at his player. Comes to Fred. To be fair, it's a snapshot. The goalkeeper's not ready for it and it's gone straight through his legs. Head in your hands, hands in your head. It's 1 0 to UTR. Oh. Such a scrappy game, but we knew it was going to be like that and it's going to stay like that because let's be honest, this pitch isn't getting any better. That's good from the eight to get away from Tolu. Reggie's had a challenge to make and he's done that. Number nine on the ball, got the 12 in support. Jed and uh, Kwan's trying to stop that from happening. It comes into the number eight. That's good from Lamar. Uh, nice from Tolu to follow up as well. Comes out to the three, not a bad shot. John gets it. It's uh, come here to Jed, takes a loose first touch, but he's able to recover it here and gets there just ahead of the number six. That's going to be a free kick all day. Lamar's going to try his luck now. Goes for it. The wind's going to carry it over the bar and be home for a goal kick. Almost at half time now. Seven unable to get onto the ball there. He's missed it. Jed's going to capitalise and take the ball forward. He's got two shirts to beat here this time. Jed looking to get through there. He's going to break into the box to me. I open up my body. Go for it. Oh my gosh. How? I know I'm used to missing chances. Yes, we know that. But how has this one not gone in? I'm wheeling off celebrating already. I couldn't believe it, my team couldn't believe it, and I should be scoring there, pitch or not. I know it's taken a little bubble up at the last minute, but I thought I scored, and I should have scored, rightfully. Uh, but yeah, in the end, what can I do? Taking the shot, I missed it now, and uh, the goalkeeper thinks he's in my head. I am not even gonna try and rinse anyone. Because it's been slow, it's been hard. I was trying to get the striker, that's It's been hard, oh my God. What happened? I was trying to get the striker on the back. Yeah, like, it has been a hard game. The pitch is not helping us at all. But one thing I will say is we are allowing them to play a bit too much. For the first 30 minutes, they were playing quite a lot. And they were playing in and around this dirty bit as well. I say it's very, it's very it's difficult. The formation the ball, four, two, was yeah. excellent. Yeah. With, how, with how they're playing, because they're so erratic, some of them don't even know their shape. They're dropping in and it's hard for us to identify that so quickly. By the time Tolu goes, ah, oh, like, move on, there's their man's collected the ball already. You get me? So it's very difficult. We just have to identify it a little bit quicker. If we had 4 3 3, it's a lot easier. But what, what I did say is that the pitch will bring them to our level as close as possible. They have, they've had chances. They've had chances. They've had, chances. They've had, they've had, they've had more chances than us, for sure. Mm. More clear cut ones than you. But that's yeah. shit. Clear me missing ones. that one. We'll get the next one up, man. What I will say, boys, we are going to be playing in the quote unquote better half of the, uh, of the pitch now. And we. we even, let me show you that. We said corners. Play our wingmen in. We haven't done it. Yeah, we, we haven't done it. We have to be wider. We have to be wider. As we all said it before the start of the game. This is a this is a game where the middle of the pitch is terrible, but our wide men can have fun. Let them have fun. But a second half, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Into the second half, and we know we can do better, but it's Meridian on the ball this time. Uh, in the 47th minute, it's a ball into the box. That's great defending from Sam Obaseki just to shield it away. We have to clear our lines once more. Like I said, they're going to be in this game because on this pitch, I don't think ability comes into play that much. Uh, it's uh, Thomas on the ball now for UTI. He's got Femi out wide. Thomas carrying it forward. Seven hot on his heels. It's going to come here to Quams. Quams does well to uh, win the ball back for UTI there. Thomas keeps it alive. Can we make something happen in this attack? It's Lamar sending the captain sliding there. I go for a slip too. How, what's the counter at now, guys? Who's got the counter going? Tell me. It's Jed on the ball. He's flicked around the corner. I've taken over uh, on this right-hand side. Kite back into the box. Thomas takes a touch there, but five can't get to it. Thomas on the swivel, and again, a good strong right hand from the goalkeeper. Comes here to Femi. Can he make something happen? A little bit of trickery, but I think the move's done. 
Number three on the ball, uh, for Meridian. Back to the goalkeeper. He's under pressure from Jed. Fred also pressing with him as well. He's going to come back here to me. Uh, I'm going to take it forward. I've got Fred in front of me. Look to back heel it to Fred this time, and I'm just chopped down by the number seven. He's been at it all game, and this time it's a free kick. Also, the threes kicked the ball away, and that is going to get him a uh, card from the referee. He is the first man in the book. From that free kick, can we do something clever? Lamar goes to play it short to Femi. They're onto it, and uh, they've done well there. That's even going to be a goal kick. Femi just kicked the ball away there as well. I think he might have got away with it too. It's number nine who looks to have gotten away with something here from Tolu. He's into the box there. Clever challenge from Tolu. And he's also got the strength to hold him off. That's good defending. Can Sam Obiseki clear it and make something happen for UTR? It's a ball forward here. Uh, Femi there looking to latch onto it. Good from the three. And Femi sent another guy to the ground. Hey, you've been going gym. Some might say they wonder how he gets the ground so easily when he's in the box. Only he will know. It's Femi looking through to Fred now. Uh, he's got options in the box of Thomas and Jed. Still got Femi with him on, on the edge as well. Goes for a shot straight down the keeper's throat and it's easy for him. Sam Obiseki on the ball for UTR. Plays it into me. Got a little bit of space. Uh, send the seven for a hot dog. But it's not even his fault because once you go one way on this pitch, you can't go another. It's just the way it is. And it's uh, going to come here to Femi. He's got Fred with him there as well. Uh, Femi looking to maybe go for a shot. He's going to play it through here to Thomas. Thomas looking for options. He's uh, not going to play it back to Femi this time. Still looking for options. But he's taking too long and they're going to sniff it out. It's into our half now. Uh, Meridian here with the number nine. I'm going to try and nick it there. That's a clumsy foul. Free kick for them. Number eight, standing over this free kick, left footed over the wall, and uh, it's very central and easy for John. We're looking to break, it's Femi over the halfway line now, and uh, he's brought to ground by the number eight. Clever foul, you might say. I'm gonna try and take this one, and uh, this time it's definitely a cross. No two ways about it. It's uh, headed off the five to the 16, and Jed's shot on the turn is easy. He's gonna try and deliver a corner into the box. This time it's floated into a good area. Thomas, oh, that's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. I think they've given a goal kick initially, but I think the linesman's helped him out there, and he's decided that's a corner. Another chance for Jed to get into the box. Similar technique. Uh, going for it. It's taken away from, I think that was Fred with the acrobatic. Comes here to Sam Obiseki. It's uh, back out wide to Jed. He goes to cross it and it's blocked by the three. Femi's going to be coming off the pitch. He's got to be somewhere early. So Drew is going to make his way onto the pitch. We are going to put Fred out wide on the left and Drew up top. He's straight into the thick of things. Trying to win it against the number six and the three. Comes down here to me. The five's literally just chopped me down. And uh, play continues. It goes through to Fred. I think it's been pulled back. I think the referee gave the decision to them initially. And it's needed the Lino to help him out there. But that's definitely our free kick. It's Lamar on the ball then. Uh, looking to get to the back post. Reggie jumping highest. He wins the first ball. 16 puts it behind for a corner. Jed takes that corner from the left. The deliveries are getting better this half. It's headed down by Drew there. Comes here to Reggie. It's there. Oh, it's close. But it's dragged wide. 16 on the ball. Uh, Drew looking to stop him from getting that out from the back. It's a ball over the top and it seems like we've let it run straight through. It's Luka Modric for in on goal with the 12 on his back. And it's easy for him. He slotted it. It's 1-1. Meridian have stayed in the game and just over the hour mark, they have gotten themselves back in it. 1-1. And I thought he was doing 1-1 there, but his name's Harry, I think. So that's what the H is for, I guess, there. But it's one ball over the top. We haven't dealt with it. I think the flight of the ball has been taken a little bit by the wind maybe as well. But a bit of indecision there from all of us the defence, the goalkeeper, everyone. And uh, it seems like they've gotten their way back into the game. And it's a fair contest now. It's anyone's game, especially on this pitch. Drew in a tussle with the number five. Looks like they're trying to play a game of twister here, though. Uh, Jed's going to take charge. Nice bit of skill to get away from the seven. Comes here to Lamar. Lamar lets it go through to me. I've got Fred out wide to the left. Fred looking to maybe get across, across the box into Thomas. It's blocked by the 16 and it's been called back for offside. Can't believe that one. Drew in a race for the ball. Number six goes sliding in. It's a brilliant challenge. Number three gets it back up the pitch from Meridian. Into the number nine. Looking to get away from myself and uh, Lamar there. Seven goes bundling in. I go to the ground there. I think I've been caught on my heel there as well. As play continues, Tolu gets the ball away from UT for UTR. It's Fred on the ball. He's got Drew for in on goal. Drew uh, gets away from the 16 and he goes to dink it this time. It's straight at the keeper. And it's a big opportunity missed there as well. It's all right, Drew. It can't be worse than mine. I've saved you this game for sure. Good use of the body there from him anyway. It's uh, back into Quams. Quams escapes from one challenge, escapes from a second, and he goes all the way and he's got it in the back of the net with the toe poke. Quams, composed as ever from left back. I need a bit of that. It's a knee slide as well to celebrate, but Quams from left back, and I think he might have scored a similar goal uh, against this team before. It might have been them or Spring Hill. One of them anyway uh, on this pitch where he broke down the left-hand side, and I think he just loves those little bursting runs from left back. He's done it again. Little touch to go away from there. Uh, uh, the six dives in. Uh, 16 goes to ground as well, but Quams is able to poke it just before he can get anything to it. Lovely from him. It's 
So with that, we are back in control. It's Quams on the ball again. He finds Fred, that's a brilliant pass. Fred on his left foot, goes for the shot and he's dragged it wide of the right post. Actually, it would seem like it was deflected. It's Jed on the corner, floats it towards the back post. Keeper's gone down, Sam Obseki with the header. It's in the back of the net, but it's not gonna count. And here is why, in case you missed it. Uh, Drew here, uh, gonna just shove this number three into the goalkeeper. He's gone to the ground like a sack of potatoes. And uh, yeah, that definitely is a free kick, however. John's got it on the floor at the back. No one pressing him, uh, it's left to run through here to myself. This time, can I go through and go and get the final touch? Oh my goodness, I've been dragged to ground and I'm fuming there because I think once I got past the goalkeeper, it was just on my left foot and surely even I couldn't miss that. Uh, you never know these days, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we've won the penalty there. Uh, John with the kick, I anticipated it very early that it was going to go all the way through because Drew was shielding the number six. I get the touch ahead of the number three and just as I'm trying to take the next touch, I'm dragged to ground and that is going to be a penalty, I'm sorry mate. Uh, and yeah, we have an opportunity to make it 3-1. So then, Captain Tolu standing over the ball, goes for it, start a penalty and he sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, nice and composed. He's missed his last couple of penalties, but he's not missed that one. Nice and composed and that will be a confidence booster. 3-1 to UTR and we are back in the driving seat. Lovely from Tolu, little starter and he just uh, rolls it past the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper sat on his bottom, and you can see he's not happy with that one. He's, he knows he's been done. Someone's not happy with the decision. Might have been the seven. He's walking away from the ref, and he's been put in the book. Seven or the six, one of them. It's uh, into Sam Obaseki, looking to get away under pressure from the 12. I'm trying to get under control, can't really do so. Try and just poke it away there. Uh, three into the 12, Luka Modric. We get away from him. Drew, the little nutmeg on that guy there, comes here to Thomas. He gets it around the corner for Jed. Jed takes control, tries to get it through to Drew. It's not come off. Gonna come here to me. I see Fred in space. Fred surely one on one, and Fred tucks it away. That's what mine should have been like. It's Fred with a finish. And he's got his second goal of the game. You know what's coming? See, it's another goal for UTR. 4-1, and now Meridian are starting to crumble. But they've done so well this game, I'm not even gonna lie to you. They've battled, they've pushed us as far, but I think that's as far as they can go, to be honest. Uh, Thomas with the pass around the corner to Jed. Jed took charge of the situation. The pass to Drew was not only pointed to where he wanted it, uh, didn't get it there, comes back, blessing in disguise, and Fred has held his run nicely this time, and he's actually not offside. For once, Fred. But yeah, 4 1 to UTR. Meridian uh, have kicked off, and uh, the number 13's under pressure there. Thomas looking to win it. He's looking to go towards goal, looking for his goal, and it's not going to come like that. Way over. Thomas is back on the ball, deep inside our half. He's found himself there, don't know how, but he's played a beautiful ball to Jed now. Jed chops it back here, up against number three, cuts inside on the left foot, looking to get, and it's not too far wide, but it's not close enough. We have a free kick, I'm standing over it, looking to get into the box, decent area. Tolu's there, it's uh, there with Sam Obaseki, and I think he's just taken it away from Jed. It's a goal kick. We've been caught out position. Number eight's through in on goal. Uh, Lamar's breaking his back to get back. It's uh, a number eight with the shot. That's a save from John. And Quams does well to nip it away from that guy who's fuming. I have to say, John did really well with that one because number nine was lurking for a tap in. As this time, Luka Modrac gives the ball away. I've cut it out there and I'm going to get it here to Jed. Nice first touch to get away. Oh my goodness, he sent the number three for Azara Mensel. And he's got Thomas making a run through. Thomas there with the shot. And it's blocked by the th uh, six, sorry, and deflected into the keeper's arms. Jed there, the audacity, what is he doing? Let's take one more look at this. It's uh, played there, nice first touch, and oh my goodness, great feet there from him. Really good, uh, he's loved that, I know that. It's uh, broken here to Drew, decent first touch, shimmies away from the 15, six knows he can't touch him. It comes here to Fred in the box, Fred has Sam Obaseki there, it comes back here to Drew, that's nice from Drew, nice little bit of shimmying again, and he's gotten it into the bottom corner. He's come off the bench, and since he's come off the bench, he's made a very good impact, he's put his body about, and he gets his goal, very well deserved. Drew there uh, makes it 5-1 to UTR, and a game that looked like it was slipping away from us for a moment, we have total control of. Really nice play from Drew and Fred. Uh, Fred did well to be unselfish, actually, on a hat-trick, and find Drew in the box. Great first touch, little shimmies there as well, and he's rolled it past the goalkeeper and the defender on the line. Lovely stuff, Drew. Uh, we love that. Look at John. John, John, get back in your net. What are you doing? Don't you guys just find that goalkeepers are just the busiest people on the football pitch all the time? I know they have to with their voice. They have to talk and be vocal, but they're so busy. And I've ne never met a goalkeeper that isn't busy. But yeah, there it is. 5-1 to UTR. We've won this league game against Meridian. And we will go home with the three points. Lovely, lovely day for UTR. All right, boys. First half, we said, we, we said a lot at the halftime break. What we did in the second half was do everything. We, we battered them. Call the first two minutes, I would say, we, we were a bit slow, but we got into the game well. 
and we worked, everyone worked hard. Everyone worked hard. I, I want to give an honourable mention for two players. Kwame Mensah and Andrew Bwadi. Okay? You both but no levels well done like that was a hard game to play especially like in this pitch i'll, I'll always talk about that but well done boys Manny. uh boys all i can say is we did exactly what we asked you know what i mean we knew from the start that that pitch was going to bring them to close enough to our level, like I've said already. That goal got them excited, but they forgot who we were. They forgot what we can do. We showed them straight after Kwam, that's unreal. We needed that at that point, because some, some of our heads dropped. So we needed that goal, and then look, we battered them. But God willing, we don't get any pictures like this again in their future, because boy. So I can't fault anyone. I can't fault anyone, honestly. Like, we all did our bit. Yes, we all made mistakes and slipped like we knew was going to happen, but we got round. Even when Tolu made a little mistake there, Reg got round him straight after, so it just cancelled out. That's what we need to do week in, week out. Boys, well done. Boys, well done. But yeah, guys, that is it for this week's Sunday League. I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button if you have. Make sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you know. Or at least come on, on Sundays to make sure you are checking for the episodes. But yeah, other than that, subscribe to you to our channel. Check out Manny Plus. Check out Manny Clips. And I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. B.I. B.I. All on a journey, we're all trying to navigate. At the end of the road, we know that man is great. Came from the mad estates. Rock down crepes, no peace for electric. Back there, I never had lavish mates. Was a concrete jungle, savage apes. Hard times could damage faith. But we always had hope we would have the cake. See brothers fight for a slice. Them man there would stab your face. But it's all for nothing, you see the rest they race. But let me get started and grab the pace. Me, I hit goals and you lack the range. I'm a beast if I tap the rage. I change life straight from what I scrap from the page. Hit can't call, can't back to the flame. Wanna put